everybody, I'm Todd McFarlane, you're watching... Ah! Nicely done, Venom Vlog. Hello, Parasites. For this very unique episode, I felt a journey to another world would be fitting for this cursed and evil number. Over the last few years, we have discussed a character called The Maker in Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman's Venom run. But if The Maker is a variant of the Reed Richards from the main Marvel Universe, then what horrors did he face in his world that led to his downfall? On this, the 666th episode of The Venom Vlog, one story comes to mind. Marvel Zombies. So strap in, boils and ghouls, because you've never seen zombies like these before. Our tale begins with the Maker. I'm sorry, I mean young Reed Richards, also known as Mr. Fantastic, or Stretcho to his friend Ben, are traveling through time with his teammates, the Fantastic Four, or at least a variant version of them, taking down criminals who have hijacked Reed's latest invention. After they save the day, they return Reed's device to the custody of the Avengers and Johnny and Sue Storm's father at the Baxter building. Soon after, young Reed Richards begins tinkering with a new device. If he and his Fantastic Four can travel through time, could they also travel to other worlds? Variant worlds that look and feel like their own, where events transpire differently? Young Reed believes so. With little effort, young Reed is able to send out a signal and of all the people who could possibly answer, young Reed met older Reed. A Reed that was married to Sue Storm and father to Franklin and Valeria Richards. A Reed much like the one we know in the main Marvel Universe. Young Reed finished his device with the help of older Reed and used it to travel to a new Earth. This is when things go to hell, quickly. Older Reed wasn't what he appeared. In fact, he himself was a zombie. A mad scientist who instead of trying to cure the rare virus that fell from space and devoured his world and his children, decided to inject his teammates, his wife, and join a new evolutionary form as the Frightful Four. Young Reed teamed up with Variant Magneto and others, narrowly escaping the zombie world with a few survivors and a few strays. But the events on that world didn't stop just because young Reed and his Fantastic Four got away. Magneto stayed behind to destroy the machine before getting ripped apart by the zombie horde. On this Earth, things went very badly for the heroes when the virus touched down on their planet. Spider-Man was infected early, turning on his family and eating Mary Jane and Aunt May. No one was immune to the virus. Hulk, Colonel America, Iron Man, Hank Pym, and more ravaged the earth, now with no survivors left to eat. Or so they thought. T'Challa survived, barely, as did Magneto's acolytes on Asteroid M. But they were no match for the zombified heroes, especially after the arrival of the Silver Surfer and Galactus. Both cosmic beings were devoured by the zombie heroes, and those few that fed on the Devourer of Worlds and his Herald obtained cosmic abilities on top of their own. A zombie civil war broke out as they fought over the last bit of food on their planet. Zombie Spider-Man, now with cosmic powers, battled his enemy, Zombie Venom, and won. Spider-Man kills Eddie Brock and his infected symbiote as the other zombified heroes make short work of their opponents as well. But the tragedy doesn't end there, for when the zombies eat on this world, there is a short time after where they become a bit more human and begin remembering their sins. For some, like Spider-Man, his guilt becomes too much. But soon the hunger returns, and now the surviving zombies and their new cosmic powers journey out into the cosmos to find more food. Maybe they'll find their way to you on your world. What if they did? Hey, thank you all so much for celebrating episode 666 of the Venom Vlog with me in creepy style. Today I only covered a small fraction of the Marvel Zombies comic event which has been running for years over multiple miniseries from Marvel Comics. Pick up the ultimate collection of them in trade paperback or in digital on Comixology today. The ones covered in today's episode were written by Jupiter Legacy creator Mark Millar and Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman with art by Greg Land and Sean Phillips. 
Also, check out Season 1, Episode 5 of the What If TV series from Marvel to see an MCU variant version of this zombie universe. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and may we never speak of its horrors again. As for young Reed, and the rest of his journey to become the Maker, well, that's a story for another time. Thanks so much for watching, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you on another world. Peace.